Okay, so in today's video, I want to talk to you about my new favourite, not sure what to call her really, artist, lyricist, poet, visionary, dreamweaver, the bard herself, sexy red. I'm out of town, thug with my round, my coochie pink, my booty hole brown. Now, a lot of people my age who live a similar sort of lifestyle to me, you know, married with a couple of kids, they start to become, and it's sad to watch really, they start to become a bit uncool, a little bit out of touch. I don't know why, that just hasn't happened to me. I work with teenagers every day as, a, as an English teacher and I can just tell they see me as one of their own. I'm like Jane Goodall, just seamlessly infiltrating a troop of gorillas. I'll just rock into the classroom uh, in the afternoon and I'll be like, hey Diego, did you see that latest thing that's trending on TikTok, whatever? And they'll just like, they'll pretend they haven't heard me a lot of the time because I think they're embarrassed that I know more about TikTok than them. It's, you know, I'm more with it than the teenagers themselves. I was with my he took a bitch down. Of course, I had a little dreadhead, you know, and I had just left Pound Town and I was thinking about it. So I'm like, let me go ahead and write a rap about it. All right. So for any of you who are watching whose tastes are not quite so urban as mine, this is Sexy Red, and she's breaking down the lyrics to her latest masterpiece, Pound Town. I'm out of town, thugging with my rounds, my coochie pink, my booty hole brown. Where the f is? I'm looking for the hoes. Quit playing, nigga. Come suck the hoes. Now, Ben Shapiro did a reaction video to this song, to this composition, the other day, and I think he missed the point entirely. Yeah, he made a few funny jokes about the lyrics, okay? But he didn't give her a chance, you know, he could have done some thorough research like what I do for my videos, right? I've gone away and I've tried to hear her story. I've like, I've, I'm putting this video together to break down the lyrics for you, which she's already done, you know, she's already done this. Ben Shapiro could have gone out and watched the same videos that I did and, and not just been so, so simple and superficial. You know, yeah, she's saying, my cushy pink, my booty hole brown, right? But what does she actually mean, all right? You know, we can't all be Morrissey. And in fact, when you think about it, when in Morrissey's, in the Smiths song, uh, Stop Me If You Think That You've Heard This One Before, he says, uh, I was delayed, I was waylaid, an emergency stop, I smelt the last 10 seconds of life, I crashed down on the crossbar, the pain was enough to make a shy bull Buddhist reflect and plan a mass murder. What's he really saying? He's talking about someone falling off their bike, isn't he? It's not, or maybe, you know, like the sort of hyperbolic, overly elaborate story a battered wife might tell a nurse. Or something like that. Anyway, the point is, if we just listen to Sexy Red, she will reveal the esoteric... The, the kind of the, 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 the nuances that you have to... that you can't really grasp unless you're a part of that culture uh, like I am. Um, so let's just let's just hear her out, give her a chance. I'm thinking like everybody coochie pink, you know, and booty hole was brown, but I just found out it's not. I swear to God, I just found out. Somebody talking about they booty hole pink. I ain't never heard of no pink booty hole. You see, Ben, you're so out of touch, God. Ben Shapiro, eh? Pound Town. Just left Pound Town. Left my He just took a bitch down. Yeah, that dick a bitch down. Yeah, that out. Pound Town. Just left Pound Town. Left my nigga. He just took a bitch down. Yeah, that nigga a bitch down. Yeah, that nigga out. Yeah, some of you stiffs need Excuse me. Just need to a little bit of cultural in real. For the ones that don't know, Pound Town is a city. It's where you're going to, where you just came from. If you got some, <laughs> if you just got took down through there, okay? And you know what I'm talking about. You just got took down through there. Oh, yes. I know what you mean by Pound Town, Ms. Red. I, I presume to call you Ms. Red, you know, because I'm assuming there's no Mr. Red yet, is there? But it sounds like there is no shortage of suitors. Mmm, sexy. Uh, I'm out here in Miami. 
Looking for the hoochie daddies. Where the n get ratchet? Yeah, my son need a new peppy. I like hoochie daddies because they they ratchet. It's just like a hoochie mama. Now, obviously, I know what a hoochie daddy is and get ratchet, but I'll just quickly search the Urban Dictionary definition so that you can see it, right? Hoochie mama is a woman who wears a skirt that almost shows goodies, right? Which uh, sh she'll wear booty shorts in the winter and call them pants, right? Yeah. Get ratchet. Ratchet can mean exciting or excellent. So I guess, you know, people who get excitable. But it's the opposite. So who's your daddy? He down, he with all the bullshit, he getting ratchet, wow, buck wild. Ah, buck wild. I, I knew we'd have something in common, Sexy Red. Uh, I like my animal analogies as well, and you're comparing the kind of men you like to bucks in the mating season. They get buck wild, you know, start rutting with one another, competing for the women. Too many bitches, where the is it? Uh, I'm trying to get my coochie scratched. Yeah, I'm trying to get my coochie stretched. Yeah, you know them dreadheads do it the best. It's a, it's a ballad when you think about it, isn't it? Everybody always be saying, what do you mean when you say you're trying to get your coochie scratched? What are you saying? I'm saying scratched and stretched. Like you scratch my back, I scratch your back type shit. Like, like, a, like it. He's scratching my itch, like it feels good to my coochie. You know what I'm saying? That's what scratch means. You know, there's a lot of snobbery from people like Ben Shapiro towards contemporary art and artists like Sexy Red. But I think you have to bear in mind that they are, they're standing on the shoulders of giants. But what they're going to do is going to be very different to the things that we classically consider, um, you know, good art. I mean, without Jane Eyre, could we have Sexy Red? You know, without Charlotte Bronte writing about the plight of a woman who, you know, she was just resigned to the fact that there were too many bitches and she didn't even feel like she deserved. Like, she didn't even apostrophize where the ni where the N-word's at, you know? At no point, she just, she just assumes there ain't gonna be no N-words, right? She just, she just accepts it. But in 2023, we've got brave, artists like Sexy Red standing on the shoulders of Charlotte Bronte uh, and screaming into the into the Miami night where the n-words at right and I think that's I think that's a beautiful thing in many ways poetic oh yeah I like a nigga with a check I'm a just give me neck uh you know I'm sexy I'm the best uh, I'm the shit little bitch I'm that. Fascinating. Well, my friend gave me the name Sexy a long time ago, but it's true, like, I am sexy. Mm, okay, Ms. Red, it's good that you're self-confident, but we don't want that to spill over into arrogance now, do we? Call yourself Sexy Red. Sexy is spelled with two Ys. I don't know what the second Y adds to uh, the pronunciation. It's sexy -y -y. Well, Ben, if you've done your research like I did, it's sexy with two Y's because I don't know who the one Y is. I don't know who that bitch is. She regular. I'm the real sexy. Two Y's, real sexy stand up. It's me. These go to 11. But I can't say his name because he be cheating. I love you, baby. Yeah, and I'm the reason. I decided to give my man at the time that shout out in that song because I'm like, I want to make a song about you, but I can't say your name. I'm like, I'm going to put you in the song, though. Just love a bad bitch. What Suki said, So I gave Suki the shout out in, in my song because we had just did a song called Born by the River. And in that song, she was like, I got a name, Nick, who like the nut my tits. So I'm like, let me, you know, I, I want to say something about tits. So I'm like, let me put say my girl Suki name in her since she just said it. Yeah, so hopefully you've all learned something in today's in today's video. Like like I say, we can't be so snobbish towards this contemporary art. Okay, you gotta keep a more open mind. You gotta try and stay young like me, you know, and in touch like me.
uh, like all my students think I am. You know, I, I, I walk into the classroom, I've got an individualized high five for all of them. They forget how to do them. You know, they're just on their iPhones watching TikTok and stuff and don't really, a, a bit like me in many ways, yeah. So I, I can relate. Um, what's my point? I guess my I guess the main point to take away from this video is if Charlotte Bronte, with her brilliant mind, were alive today and she were writing Jane Eyre today, it would be the same brilliant story, the same brilliant mind writing the novel, but I'm sure a lot of the language would be very different. You know, details from the behaviour of the characters would change. You know, it, you wouldn't have Jane Eyre weeping in a corner because, ooh, I can't possibly live in sin. No, she'd be there like, hey, bitch, I just want to get my coochie scratch. My booty hole brown. Right? Don't you think? You know, you're lying to yourself if you don't. <sighs> Keep an open mind, all right? If you've enjoyed this video, like it, share, subscribe. Maybe you can let me know in the comments the colour of... Don't do that. That's... No. I'll see you in the next one.